Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where I share my thoughts on Legion. So recently I have hit level 110 and I have finished my class campaign as a mage, frost mage, hell yeah, and I have some things to say about this new follower system that has come out in Legion. Pretty much what I'm really going to talk about is that this new mission table that Blizzard has introduced in Legion is completely pointless, and I don't think it's necessary to even have it anymore. Now obviously this mission table stuff and the follower stuff was introduced in Warlords of Draenor, and a lot of people didn't like it. I'm sure there's some people who are watching right now that did like it, and I understand that, that's perfectly fine. But I think it is pretty safe to say that the vast majority of WoW players did not respond very well to the whole follower system and the mission table and all that good stuff. Now in Legion they obviously brought the system back, um, but you can really see that Blizzard learned a lot from Warlords of Draenor and they really did listen to the feedback of the players. So speaking as myself, when it comes to World of Warcraft and MMORPGs and RPGs in general, one thing that I don't like is I don't like UI related stuff. I don't like it when the gameplay turns into UI based gameplay. Now you for example might not care, and that's fine, feel free to disagree with me, but I'm just clarifying that before we go forward. So anyway, I'm going to propose a new idea, a new scenario, and it's this. All it is, it's, it's just the current follower system, just remove the table, remove the UI element. And so here we go. New expansion comes out. Wrath of the Bolvar King, or whatever. <laughs> You're on your brand new level 110 Necromancer. That's right. And you go to the whatever, the broken Northrend place. And uh, you get a follower. Okay, you get a follower early on. Cool. And then maybe at like level 115, you get another follower. Cool. And then at max level 120, you get your third follower. So only three followers. That's it. And what do these followers do? Well, you tell them what to do. So, for example, I'm going to just list a bunch of stuff. Um, just random things that I thought of. Number one, you could tell a follower, like, hey, you're leveling up. That first follower you get, you could say, hey, follower, be my bodyguard. And as long as a follower, any, any one of your three followers could be a bodyguard. As long as the follower is a bodyguard, you uh, get a 5% experience bonus or a 5% reputation bonus while they're accompanying you. You could say, hey, follower number one, I want you to help me level up my profession. So let's say you're leveling up engineering. So this follower will go and he will, let's say, every couple of days get some materials for you or give you some materials to help you level up your engineering. And more importantly, this follower maybe every now and then, and this applies to anything, anything that I'm about to list, you could come back to your class hall 2.0, or wherever these guys are, and, oh, look, he has a quest for you, an engineering-related quest. Like, oh, hey, I was working on some, you know, some of your profession stuff, and I found this cool gadget. Might want to check it out. And you go do a little quest line, whatever, and you end up getting plus 10 to your engineering. Cool. All right? You could have, for example, a follower be a cheerleader <laughs> or something. They pretty much have a role in PvP where pretty much as long as they're set to this role, um, you just get a little extra honor whenever you do a battleground. You could have a follower, for example, help you with raiding. Now when I say help, I don't mean accompany you. I just mean like they provide you with a bonus role or something, an extra bonus role each week whenever you kill a boss. Cool. You could have a follower make you gold. So every week you get your follower and he has, it all depends, it'd have to scale depending on like how much money the quests give and stuff. But let's just say for example, every week after seven days, they give you a thousand gold. It's like, hey, I made you some gold. It's like, thanks follower. You could, for example, have a follower train one of your battle pets while you're offline. So every couple of days, like, your battle pet will go up in levels and you didn't even have to do anything. Um, you could, for example, just wild card them. You could say, hey, follower, go out in the world, go do whatever you want, and they will go and quest, you know, they will quest. <laughs> and every week they'll come back and they'll just have something random. 
Sometimes they might have, I don't know, like a useless green that you just immediately sell to a vendor. Or maybe they come back with like a rare battle pet. Or maybe they come back with a rare mount or something. It's completely RNG. It's completely random. You're just rolling the dice with that one. But the point is, you only got three followers. And they can only do one of these things. Only one. So you kind of got to pick what kind of player and what kind of play style do you want. And if you, for example, let's say, let's say you're raiding one day. And you're like, okay, well, I'm going to go PvP now, so I'm going to set my follower to, you know, help me with my PvP now. Well, the follower has a cooldown before you can assign them to a different task, so it might be like two days. So it can't be just like you're switching their roles, you know, on the fly or something. The point is this. All I did was take out the mission table. The followers are still doing exactly what they're doing right now. They're a little bit more interactable because you tell them what to do, you walk up to them and you say, hey, so-and-so, I want you to do this. I have like a list of stuff, kind of like a guard in a city has like a list of things you can ask them about. And again, no matter what role you tell your follower to do, as they do that respective job, whatever that might be, they can give you quests or rewards based on whatever it is they're doing. The PvP guy, you assign a dude to PvP, he says, hey, I don't like orcs. I want you to kill 50 orcs for me. Kill 50 orcs and I'll reward you with whatever or something. Or you could tell a follower if they continue the artifact weapon thing, they might say, oh yes, mighty champion, as I was researching your mighty artifact weapon, I discovered this place this cave in the middle of new zone number three and there's a guy in there and if you go down there and you kill him I'll give you 200 artifact power if they continue the artifact system which I hope they do so whatever uh, that, that was another one you could have a follower uh, maybe get artifact power for you every week a bit of artifact power every couple of days or something whatever the point is that they can do a lot and you just gotta pick you know what do you want them to do so again, I just feel that after doing the class order hall campaign and getting my third relic slot and doing all these missions and blah blah blah, I just don't feel that that mission table is really necessary. I feel like the only reason it's still in the game is Blizzard was like, oh, well we put it in with WAD so we gotta try again, we gotta see if we can get it right this time. And I do think that they got it more right, but I just don't think it's necessary. Now the only reason why I'm talking about this is because I do enjoy the follower system. I think it's great and I think there is a lot of potential in the follower system. Because honestly, truth be told, I might have said this in a past video but it is the truth. I want a follower system where I can have Thessarian in my Death and I order hall be a follower and I want to be able to dress him up. I want to be able to transmog my followers. So pretty much I want to have Thessarian, the badass Death Knight in a pink dress wearing a pirate hat you know and he's my bodyguard out in New Northrend or whatever and we're killing undeads and stuff and he's wearing a pink dress looking like an idiot now that would be great might sound a bit silly but it would be fun because you could get really creative with it really I think there is a lot of potential with the follower system but I just don't want the follower system to remain as it is now where it's mostly just a UI thing it's just about dragging, you know, a follower from the left-hand side of the screen to the right and pressing go, and then they go and do their whatever it is they're doing, and then they come back in X amount of time. So being able to walk up to a follower and tell them, hey, I want you to do this, I'm going to assign you to this task, it's removing the UI element of the mission table, and it's also, dare I say, adding a little bit more immersion to the game in some respects. So... Those are just my thoughts. But guys, I mean, as I said in my recent video where I talked about my thoughts on Legion, I mean, I'm loving this expansion so far. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I don't really have a problem with this follower system. Again, I just don't think the table thing is necessary. Um, I'm having a great time. What can I say? But yeah, after my last video, some people wanted me to share some of my thoughts on Legion as the expansion progresses. And so this is me doing just that, hopefully providing some healthy critique and maybe promoting some 
new ideas and whether they're bad or good that is to be determined by you and on that note guys what do you think what do you think of this follower system so far do you like the fact that blizzard has brought it back from warlords and is trying to get it right this time do you kind of maybe wish no no followers no table no nothing let's just go back to me my character that's it no one else do you prefer that kind of gameplay and why? Feel free to share your thoughts, guys. Feel free to agree with me, disagree with me, whatever. Leave a comment below. Either way, guys, thank you for listening, and I suppose I will see you on my next uh, little discussion video thing. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'll see ya.